current events, entertainment, social issues, lifestyle, hacks. Com TV, the official broadcast channel of Communicators League. Hello Angelites, hello Communicators, and now we are here with one of the best directors in town, Direct June Lana. So sir, welcome po. Marami salamat. I'm glad to be here. Okay, sir. So, wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa, sir. I will start asking you questions from uh, our angelites or communicators na na curious, sir, regarding or meron pang pahabol from the seminar that we had a while ago. Sa lahat po ng movies na dinirect nyo, ano po yung pinaka-challenging para sa inyo? Um, I guess it will have to be uh, Shadow Behind the Moon or uh, Anino Sa Likod ng Buwan when it was released here. Kasi... It's a one-shot film, mm -hmm. um, so para ma-achieve yun, na hal na walang cut, walang break, yung coverage ng camera, we had to rehearse for more than three months. It's like a stage play kasi, ang haba ng lines, and I had to make sure na uh, constantly motivated yung actors ko, I'm, and then they needed to hit their marks on certain dialogues or basta may, may, may movement na kailangan sundin and then yung camera din kinakailangan sumasayaw kasama ng mga artista um, so kapag may nagkamali like kunyari 10 minutes into the scene tas may nagkamali kakat ko and kailangan namin simulan ulit from the very beginning so it was it was really difficult. Okay po. Ano naman po yung pinaka-favorite nyong movie o yung movie na pinaka-malapit sa puso? The one that's closest to my heart, I think, is Salang Buakaw. Hmm. And uh, as I mentioned earlier during uh, the Q&A, it's because um, I made the film to uh, honor my mentor, Rene Villanueva. Hmm. Uh, and up to now, when I watched that film, I've learned a lot since then as a filmmaker. I think I've matured. I've become maybe more sophisticated in terms of how I make films, in terms of coverage and all. But for some reason, Bahao um, will always remain close to my heart because it was an innocent time for me when I was making that film. Uh, and. Uh, gusto ko lang talagang huwag makalimutan yung mentor ko kaya ako ginawa yung video. And now, sir, we have Die Beautiful, sir, which is being talk of the town, sir. Mm -hmm. Ano po ba yung kinaiba ng MMF entry na ito or MMFF entry mm -hmm. na ito from the others? Um, for one, I think the most exciting thing about Die Beautiful, especially to many of our audiences here, is the fact that it's the first lead role of Paolo Palesteros. Ito yung unang pelikulang pagbibidahan niya. Uh, napakatagal na niyang artista. Maraming humahanga sa kanya. At parang noon pa siya hinihintay na magkaroon ng isang pelikulang pagbibidahan niya. Ito na yun. And it makes use of his strengths. Uh, yung nakilala natin siya sa mga makeup transformations niya. Uh, nakita lang siya sa buong mundo sa makeup transformations niya. At ginamit namin yun dito sa pelikulang to. Uh, the movie is funny. It's really funny. Pero at the same time, meron siyang uh, kurut sa puso. It's also very poignant. Uh, dahil tungkol din to sa... Hindi lang, to, hindi lang to tungkol sa, sa complex na buhay ng isang transgender. Uh, na ginaganapan ni Paolo sa pelikula. Kundi tungkol din to sa uh, pagkakaibigan, pagmamahal sa isang anak, uh, tungkol sa true love. So, maraming dimensions yung, yung kwento. And inspiring words naman po sa mga filmmakers out there, young filmmakers, or sa mga magbabalak to go into the industry? I think na napaka-swerte ng mga filmmakers kung sino man, mga sadyante man, mga baguhan, napaka-swete dahil lalo na dito sa atin, kapag pumupunta ako sa ibang bansa, tapos sinasabi nyo natin natin nila, how do you get your films funded, especially mga independent films? And I told them, we have, we have a lot of uh, 
uh, sources, especially dahil napakadami din nating uh, film festivals dito. We have Cinema Laya, Cinema One, Q Cinema, um, the Metro Manila Film Festival. Pero yung Metro Manila Film Festival nga, mas pang pro eh. Mm -hmm. uh, yung Cinema Laya and all these other film festivals, para sa mga baguan, uh, may opportunity na naghihintay lang uh, para sa sino man na gusto maging filmmaker. Uh, there are so many organizations na winning mag-fund uh, sa isang project uh, basta talented at uh, alam ng filmmaker kung ano yung kwentong gusto niyang ibahagi sa mga manonood. So, if you want to be a filmmaker, the most important thing is first you have to study the craft. It's so important to watch a lot of films. And um, kung talagang pursigido ka, find your story. Uh, kasi hindi ka naman pwede maging filmmaker kung maghihintay ka lang sa script na ibibigay sa'yo. So, even if you're not a writer, you have to find a story, you find someone to write your story, and then pursue that dream. Isabit mo siya sa isa sa mga film festivals dito. And if you're persistent, walang reason para hindi ma-produce yun. So, ayan, we have to remember this three key points so they, we could keep going lalo na if you want to pursue filmmaking yes. directly from the best director in town Mr. Jun Lana. So, you can invite everyone po to watch Die Beautiful. Mga kaibigan, iniimitahan ko po kayo ngayong December 25. Sana po, takilikin ninyo lahat ng pelikula sa Metro Manila Film Festival. Pero kung maaari, unahin niyo po ang pelikula namin, <laughs> ang Die Beautiful. Thank you. Tom TV, the official broadcast channel of Communicators League.